Why is there, why has this become such a topic over the last couple of years? People have been buying and selling property management companies for a number of years, but it's really been the last couple of years that things have really, really just kind of hit that hockey stick curve and just, you know, skyrocketed up. And a lot of that is because there is institutional money being poured into companies that, uh, that manage properties to grow and to scale. And so one of the things I wanted to touch on real quick was just, uh, the, the archetype of the typical buyer that's out there. Uh, and so really you have effectively three different types of buyers. You have a, what would be a more traditional roll up. So if you think about a company like, um, like SC Johnson, right. That, that owns, that has a ton of subsidiaries. They own, you know, Colgate and Palm Olive and you know, Pampers diapers. I don't know if they own any of those, but you understand what I'm saying. There are companies that are out there that are effectively a parent company that are going and buying property management companies to roll them in or under their umbrella. They leave those companies effectively in place uh, to, to manage as is. They're, what they're doing is they're acquiring operators. And so if you're running a property management company and you were to sell to one of these companies, a lot of times that comes with, you know, they want you to come in and then instead of effectively the, net profit going to you, then the net profit then begins to go to that parent company that has bought you, but everything else generally remains the same. Uh, another type of buyer, which is probably the overwhelming majority of buyers uh, in this space are asset purchases. Uh, they're coming in and their plan is they want to take uh, your company and they want to fold it into theirs, but they don't want to leave you to run and just roll your net profit into their company. They want to in incorporate or integrate all of your processes and potentially your people and your portfolio into that company. And so that's kind of more traditional asset purchase. And then the last, which is not new by any means, but is new ish to the industry is in you've seen a lot in the prop tech space is companies that are uh, primarily a property management tech platform that are needing a portfolio to be able to pull into their tech platform to allow them to grow and scale through that technology. And so you're seeing a lot of uh, venture capital backed companies that are coming into this space. They're buying up companies so that they can roll the, that portfolio, those, those management agreements into their tech platform to allow for scalability. And so those are generally speaking, the three different archetypes to the types of buyers that are out there right now. And the reason that this has been such a, uh, a huge talking point is because there's been a lot of institutional money come from behind venture capital, some people behind private equity uh, to help fuel this surge of interested buyers who are looking to grow and expand. And these, these people are, you know, some are national. There are a handful of national people that are buying all over the country. There are a few regional people who really kind of want to stay in their pocket in the country. And then as everybody's, probably aware their uh, local companies have, have always and will always continue to consolidate and invest and divest within their local regions as well.